Hello everyone, it's uh, Press to Play here once again, and I thought I would show you this today. This box set is incredible. It's the uh, 50th anniversary edition of the George Harrison All Things Must Pass album, and this is the vinyl um, edition, and look how big this thing is. It is huge, beautiful box set. There's the side, and uh, this is what you get. It's like there's so much content in this box set, it's insane. Um, you get a book. We'll show you that in a second. You get the uh, demo session outtakes. That's my favorite part of the box set. And then you get the 50th anniversary remastered version of uh, All Things Must Pass. So let's take a look at this. This is just beautiful, just incredible. And the content is amazing in this box set. So let's take a look at the let's take a look at the book first, because the book is beautiful. So you get this really nice, large, hard-covered book. And I'll just show you the inside because it's just very well done. Beautiful pictures. Hopefully you can see this okay. And at the back of the book, it goes through, it talks about the 2020 mix. And then it goes through each track on the album. It tells you where it was recorded, when it was recorded, and um, kind of the meaning behind the song or why George, what inspired George uh, to write the song. And you see some of the, the lyrics. That's, Isn't it a pity? This is such a great album. Art of Dying, I Dig Love. I love every track on this record. It is just incredible. All Things Must Pass, beautiful song. The Ballad of Sir Frankie Chris, A Waiting on You All. I love that track as well. But just really nice how they how they laid everything out. It looks just looks really nice. There's Sir Frankie Crisp. Apple Scruffs. Uh, Beware of Darkness. Beautiful track as well. Run of the Mill. Let it down. Just amazing. Awesome photos. There's uh, Billy Preston in the studio. And behind that lock, locked door, which was inspired by Dylan's Nashville Skyline album. If not for you, um, as everyone knows, is the, the Bob Dylan song that he covered. And what is life? Isn't it a pity? Wah wah, just amazing. And of course, my sweet Lord, I'd have you any time. Just a beautiful book, beautiful book, and very like high quality. The paper, it feels nice, everything about it. So anyway, beautiful. So you get the hardcover book, for starters. And then, this is the favorite part of the box set for me. It's just incredible, and that is this one here. And this is huge. This is the uh, demos and out outtakes. And it's, I actually like some of the versions the demo and the session outtakes more than the uh, the versions on the actual album, and I, I mean I I like Phil Spector. He he's well he's a phenomenal uh, producer, but I didn't like the whole wall of sound. I didn't like the way that he treated All Things Must Pass. It's not that I hate it. It's just um, I don't I'm just not into the whole wall of sound thing. So. I I kind of like the demos, the raw demos and the raw outtakes better than um, the album itself. I just found the album to be a little overproduced in a way. But again, it comes down to personal preference. But that's just me. But let's take a look at it. So this is everything you get. We're going to go through the albums. I want you to see them. And then we'll, we'll talk about them. I'm just going to sit this down over here. Okay. And what I like about the box set as well is that the albums themselves come in these really high quality sleeves, and then, but they also throw in the regular sleeves as well. And I like how they separate them like that. I love that. Um, there was a lot of complaints about this box set when it first came out of warp. The records were warped. There were fingerprints on it, scratches, etc. I did not have any problems at all. All of my records are in mint condition. I've had no issues at all with warping or anything. So... But anyway, let's take a look at that beautiful. It's got the Apple label there. And these outtakes are so awesome. So on this record, you have uh, Take One of All Things Must Pass. 
take two of behind that locked door i love this track live for you beautiful track take one then apple scruffs the first take then on this side you get uh, what is life take three awaiting on you all the first take uh, isn't it a pity take two and the first take of i'd have you anytime and just hearing them fresh and uh, it's just incredible i really like the um the demos and outtakes okay we'll take a look at the other ones there's, there's just so much content in this thing it's crazy you get a lot for your money let's put it that way very 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 good okay on this record this is uh, day one demos on tuesday may 26 1970. you get uh, dig love the first take uh, going down to golden's green the first take and then he's, it looks like some classical music. I don't remember. I have to play this again tonight. But I think he brought his sitar, on, sitar out on this one. I think. I'm going to have to go back and play it again. Then on this side, he's got The Ballad of Sir Frankie Crisp, Let It Roll, Take Two, uh, My Sweet Lord, Take One, and Sour Milk Sea. That's the first take. But just in 180 gram vinyl, too, by the way. So heavyweight vinyl. Just beautiful. And there's the. Uh, what the inner sleeve will look like. Okay, moving along, there's so much here. On this record, you get these are demos on day two, which is Wednesday, May 27th, 1970. Let it down, the first take. Tell me what has happened to you, take one. Hear me, Lord, take one. Nowhere to go, first take. Cosmic Empire, take one. Most most of these are take ones. Mother Divine, first take. I Don't Want to Do It. Love that track as well. Fantastic. Uh, take one, and If Not For You, again, the first take. Then on this side, we get Run of the Mill. These are all first take. Uh, Art of Dying, Everybody Nobody, Wawa, Window Window, Beautiful Girl, and that song was released on uh, a later George Harrison album. That's a beautiful track. And uh, Beware of Darkness. He had so much material gathered up over the years that it's incredible. And there's the other sleeve, so you can kind of see what it looks like. And then you get into Apple Jam. And this is Session Outtakes and Jams. So isn't it a pity? Take 27. Wow. Uh, if not for you, second take. Wedding bells are breaking up that old gang of mine. <laughs> take one. Uh, what is life? First take and beware of darkness. Take two. Then on this side, we get uh, Isn't it a pity? Take 14. Wawa, first take. I'd have you anytime. Take three. An art of dying. That's the first take. And nice labels as well. So the apple jam. I just love, love, love this record so much. And there's the inner sleeve. So it's got the apple jam. And on this record, again, the apple jam sleeve, our inner sleeve. We get session outtakes and jams, get back, first take, almost 12 bar honky tonk, take one. It's Johnny's birthday, take one, and take three of Woman, Don't You Cry For Me. Then on side three, uh, Hear Me, Lord, the fifth take. Let It Down, take one. Run of the Mill, take 36. My goodness. Uh, down to the River, Rocking Chair Jam, and that's take one. So tons of content here. So I'm going to have to play this tonight because I haven't played this in a while. So it's going to be nice to kind of explore this again. And again, it comes in this really nice um, box that opens kind of like a book. Very, very, very nice. So that's the demos and outtakes, my favorite part of the box set. And then you get the remastered album. So this is the 50th anniversary edition of All Things Must Pass. And one of these days I'll do a video on the actual original release it looks very similar 
So it opens up like a book. This is everything you get. And then let's take a quick look at the albums. Oh, and again, I'll also leave that one in there. That's just one of the sleeves. But they, again, all the sleeves are separated, which is nice. So this is the Apple Jam album. I remember Jeep and Thanks for the Pepperoni at side six. And then on side five, you get Out of the, Out of the Blue. It's Johnny's birthday and Plug Me In. So that's the Apple Jam. And it has the same labels. And this is, again, all 180-gram heavyweight vinyl, which is amazing. And all the lyrics are included. And this is, like, really heavy paper as well. Look at these beautiful labels. Oh, my goodness. I love records. Look at that. Beautiful. So it comes on the Apple label. And this is side four. I dig love the art of dying. Isn't it a pity? Version two. Um, Hear me, Lord. And on this side, you get Beware of Darkness, Apple Scruffs, Ballad of Sir Frankie Crisp, but let it roll. I love that song as well. Awaiting on you all, beautiful. All things must pass. This is definitely my favorite Harrison album or albums. Uh, very, very, very good. Very good package here. Then you get What is Life, If Not For You, Behind That Locked Door, Let It Down, and Run of the Mill. The Dylan track there. And I'd Have You Any Time, My Sweet Lord, Wah Wah, Isn't It a Pity, version one. So I love the labels too, but again, heavy vinyl, beautiful box set. And this uh, also comes in the lyrics with the poster that was included in the uh, original release. I'm not a big fan of this poster. I never liked it just because it's very dark looking because it is a dark poster. <laughs> but I'll quickly show you what it looks like here if I can open it. So it just has the same poster you get in the original uh, with the original album. So it's this George standing, I believe, Friar Park. It's very dark poster. I just never never enjoyed that one. I don't know why. Anyway, fantastic box set. It's just beautiful. So you get the, the album. You get the, the book. Beautiful hardcover book, book, which is just gorgeous. I love going through that book, revisiting it. You get the album. And then my favorite part of the box set is the demos uh, and outtakes. Just awesome. So much material here. And again, the way it's presented, it comes in this very big ugh, and heavy box. So just the way they packaged it and everything is just very, very, very nice. So there's the George Harrison All Things Must Pass 50th Anniversary Vinyl Edition. I do have the CD edition somewhere. I will try to dig it out. And if and when I find it, um, I will do a video for you if you're interested. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, if I can't find it, I'll do a video when I do find it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have too much stuff. I, I got to start cutting back. This is getting a bit ridiculous. It's a lot of fun, though. Anyway, thank you for your visit. Um, big thank you to my new subscribers as well. And if you're new to my channel, if you happen to stumble upon this video, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe. And if you click the bell, you will be notified when I post new videos. And um, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.